Oh, there it is. It's like a lava lamp, baby. Algen Air unboxing. This is the Algen Air. I got a Facebook ad for this sucker. I am the sucker because I sucked to this into buying this. Uh, grow algae for less CO2 levels. The thing was like indoor CO2 levels can be like 5,000 parts per million. I have the aware monitor and I get maybe a maximum 1800, but still want to keep my CO2 levels low for high performance because you need oxygen. We get some green juice to drink. This is a spirulina, you know, to put inside of your smoothies and that will help with uh, CO2 contents. Just kidding, this is not for human consumption. Obviously it's written on there. Do not drink these. This is the algae and the nutrients, I think. And there's a monthly subscription for this. So we have the spirulina algae, algae nutrients, and one replacement circular air filter. Higher contents of the algae nutrients bottle to a clean aerium glass vase, which is right there. Add the entire contents of the algae bottle to the aerium glass vase, from there. Fill the remainder of this with distilled water. Do not use plain tap water. Water must be dechlorinated in order not to harm the algae. Bottle or distilled water works best. I'm gonna use distilled. Replace top air filter with clean filter with stamp side facing up. The algae is non-toxic but non designated for human consumption. So don't eat it, okay? Makes sense? Easy peasy. There's an entire getting started guide. There you go, that's a, that's a lot. Inside of this box, we've got glass, so be mindful. All of the vase out of the box. All right, here we got the vase base. Oh, wow, okay, that's cool. Question is, how does this work? We got a little plungy thing. We've got the cleaner device. I saw the base, and then right next to it, there's the instructions for step two. And I was like, I don't see anything that looks like that. <laughs> They're not to size, definitely not to scale. I was looking for something of the same size. But that's what's inside the baggie. These three little things in the baggie. You wanna take that out, take the white, you plunge it through. You take the black piece and you put it on top and then you screw this on to create a spin the bottle. There you go, there's the cap right there. Gorgeous, beautifully gorgeous, beautifully gorgeous. Put this on here. Oh, so it's an open top. That is cool. Here we go, baby. This looks like water, but it's algae nutrients. Algae bottle, spirulina, it's going in. Distilled water, makes sense? Easy peasy. Now, I take this sucker and fill this bad boy up. Make sure it mixes it all up. Maybe like right there. Next, you take this bad boy, put it on. And you have the little air filter. Oh, there it is, it's like a lava lamp, baby. And essentially, this is gonna grow algae, it's gonna mix it up, get some movement in, create some light, a cool little lava lamp look, but you're actually emitting oxygen into the air to breathe. So what I'm gonna do next. If you look here, you can see the air quality in my bedroom right now. The CO2 levels are about 859 parts per million. And what I wanna check is what happens when I put this in my bedroom and I close the door at night, typically if the AC is on and the door is closed, that can rise up rather high. See, if you look right here on this chart, you can see there's a spike and that's near 6 p.m. midnight-ish. So I wanna see, can I minimize that spike by using this a lava lamp, this algae lava lamp we got here from Algenair. And if it does not spike, then we know we found something. Can this be an oxygen creator for one person in a bedroom? Let's find out. We just set up the algen air right there. And up here, I've got the aware air quality monitor. And it's gonna let me know how we doing here, so. But I'm gonna turn on the air filter as well. And make sure that this air is perfect and pristine for peak sleep and productivity. There it is, the aware monitor. It's showing the numbers, the stats right there. This one right here is CO2, so it's currently at two dots. Let's see what it is at tomorrow after I close this door. And we go to sleep. It hasn't really changed much. CO2 levels, CO2 level stayed pretty much the same. And this thing is still going. 
I think it needs more time to be green. So we'll give it a couple more nights for it to like grow and then we'll recheck again. Okay, as you can tell, it's gotten definitely a little darker, right? If you look at the green, it's been a couple of days, about a week or so that I've had this Algen Air device and it's gotten greener for sure since I moved it downstairs into the living room so it's getting more sunlight throughout the day. Usually I keep the blinds closed here. It's currently not so ideal, it's 75 right now. And the middle one is CO2 levels, the one to the right of that is chemical. So I'm gonna leave it in here, close the doors, I got the fan on, the AC's running. And I'm hoping that the CO2 levels will be lower in the morning because I've also got a snake plant right there which can help a little bit. But I don't know how much it's gonna help with, so we'll find out. We'll run this test, this is the experiment number two. Let's see if this thing is actually effective. And this room is relatively, I would say it's a 10 by 12. Right, how they kind of state that's the maximum size. Okay, let's be a preple of exactness. The CO2 levels are 1041 currently in the bedroom and a wear score of 74, which is fair. We've got relatively high chemicals right now and dust. So we've got the air purifier running there as well as the algen air. Let's hope this number increases by the morning. It is the morning and if we look at the aware, these were the CO2 levels last night, so I just kept increasing all through the night. But then during the morning time, I got up around 3 in the morning and opened the door because it was just too much and I have a headache right now. But around 3.10 a.m. was the last peak. You can see that right there. That was the last peak around 3.10 a.m. That was exactly when I woke up and I opened the door and then it dropped from 1400 to about 1200. So now I'm going to open the window and... See how quickly the CO2 levels change with the window open. So just to note the CO2 level, this is the air quality right now. The CO2 level is about 1030. So let's see if it drops like 400 with the door open. And as you can see, I tried to put the algen air right next to the air, but the CO2 levels are still at triple dot. And there's an air filter. So the PM levels dropped, obviously, because that was running all night. But this has not changed my CO2 levels yet. It was at 99, but it just dropped down to 97 right there. Um, but wow, 97. Just by opening the windows, I went and worked out, I showered, and now just by coming back, the air quality has increased. All I did was literally open the window right there. And that's it. And in like 20 minutes. Now if you look at the stats, these are the new stats right there. The CO2 has dropped to like the 400s, 500s, right? Everything dropped actually, so everything air quality wise got better. And that's because the air quality outside is really good, so. It's obviously, if the air quality outside is good, it's better to just open your windows and use a device like this, which I am still skeptical about. I'm hoping that it works because like when you want to turn the air conditioning on and close the windows, you need something that works. Algen air, what am I doing wrong? I'm still skeptical, skeptical about, I'm 